local demand. So we're arguing that the, the national and sometimes the regional context can have a profound influence on, on the opportunities, but also the constraints on innovation strategy that firms can make. That's all we're arguing. Okay. Okay, oh, I think we've got all those examples. <clears throat> and you do get some stability. It doesn't mean it's set forever in time, but these things are relatively slow to change. Yeah, because by definition, a lot of these big investments yeah, are durable, particularly infrastructure and educational investments have a long uh, a, a lag effect. Yeah, so decisions made now might affect a generation in 15, 20 years' time in terms of, say, education. Or infrastructure built in the next 10 years will be operational maybe for the next 50 years. Yeah, so there are big lags in the system in this respect. So they're quite durable. So if you make a mistake, that's also quite durable. Okay, but it has a strong influence. Okay, and some are deliberate and some are just contextual. Okay. <clears throat> um, other effects are um, uh, more, if you like, explicit. There are lots of studies that look at these sort of things. What is this saying? It's saying two things. It's saying that different types of outcome, that's in the first column on, on the left there, okay, and also different types of measures of innovation. I was very sensitive to this. So um, public investment in R&D has a strong measurable effect, a very strong measurable effect on patenting. So what, I hear you cry. The problem with that is, as we'll learn later when we look at intellectual property, is the relationship between patenting and innovation is quite weak outside biotech, yeah? So you get to one stage, you get lots of patents, but then what happens? And the answer is not a lot outside biotech. So it depends on what you're trying to influence here. Yeah? Is it basic science? Is it new products? <coughs> is it intellectual property and such like? Okay, so there's a whole range of effects here. And where there's a gap in this particular study, there's no significant finding, yeah? Positive or negative, okay? Okay. Um, okay, so there's no universal thing here. Okay. The other thing you find that is relatively uh, lumpy and regional is what's often called governance. It's a horrible term because it involves, it's not very well defined. So governance, not government, that's a separate factor we've sort of looked at, investment and such like training. Governance, basically how are organisations funded and managed. Yeah, that's basically what governance is about. So basically who manages them and who owns them and how. And the argument is twofold. One is it differs across the world and sometimes regionally, if you have a sort of federal system, you know, like you do in the States or Germany, okay, so you, it differs around the world geographically. And secondly, that difference have an influence on the types of innovation strategy pursued, which is probably more important for us, yeah? Which is another factor that inputs that lumpiness. So, uh, for example, ownership, who owns these things, has an influence. Why? What are they looking for? Is it short term? Is it long term? Yeah. Is it small returns over a very long term, like a pension fund or a property fund? Yeah. Or is it very high returns over a short term, where you have high churn, like in venture capital? Yeah. So they will influence the types of innovation that firms are going to get funded with, and therefore the direction of travel. Okay. So it's ter terribly important. So who if you like, who runs it, who owns it, and what are they looking for? How do they measure success over what time period? Okay, has a profound effect. And it's another reason why you get these sort of regularities. And the argument, again, is not good or bad. You don't have these futile arguments about which systems are better. A better question is, how do those different systems of governance influence innovation strategy? What types of industry, what types of technology are likely to benefit, and which other ones will be weaker? Okay, and that's why you get these different clusters of expertise around the world. So again, it's not entirely down to the sort of senior management at all, really, about the sort of strategy. There's lots of constraints and opportunities. And I think we've seen that before, and we've argued before that, you know, this isn't evenly distributed. Both the, the if you like, the amount of venture capital, but equally the type of venture capital is fundamentally different in different regions. Okay, partly down to experience, partly down to longer historical uh, precedents and trends. Okay, so for whatever reason, and it's very slow to turn around. You can't just turn on a policy and, and shift it around. Okay. And again, no particular judgment here. I don't want to get beaten up by people from Italy or Denmark or Japan. Um, but you know what the evidence suggests is not evenly distributed. Okay, and it's quite slow to change. And in terms of the startup expansion, that's trying to capture the qualitative difference rather than just the quantitative difference. It's not just a matter how much venture capital is around, normalised in some ways. Also, what type of business opportunity does it chase? Okay? So you've seen some regimes, it's more about early stage. Other regimes, 
for example, the UK, it's more about later stages. And that's partly a function of how um, tolerant venture capital is to uncertainty, to so go back to uncertainty again, to what, what types of uncertainty are these happy with? And the answer in the UK, for example, is not a lot of uncertainty, um, and they don't like technological uncertainty, if you look at the studies. Okay? They're quite happy to deal with more commercial uncertainty because they can model it and they can look at the cash flows and discounted cash flows and such like. Okay? So it's not evenly distributed, but also the type of projects they fund is quite different. And we'll return to that in a few weeks when we look at um, startups, corporate venture, and that sort of stuff. We've got a whole session.